even though I'm so mean to you all the time. It's okay, it's more entertaining for our audience. I think our audience wants to hear the news now. Your NHS band will be moving on to state finals. This is the first time the band has been at this level of competition and they, they've already accomplished so much. They compete this Saturday at Lucas Oil Stadium. Good luck and great job Millers. Now to train today. Tuesday was another election day in America and while I might not be Steve Kornacki, I sure can update you on all the key races. After a day and a half of counting, it has been projected that Governor Phil Murphy of New Jersey will be re-elected to a second term. In Virginia, the hotly contested gubernatorial race was won by political newcomer Glenn Youngkin, beating Terry McAuliffe by a very slim margin. Many other congressional and mayoral seats were filled, including Eric Adams in New York and Michelle Wu in Boston. Now, back over to the Andes with meetings. One of the sociology meetings is Wednesday is during is Wednesday the tenth during AL. Stop and see Mrs. Gilbert in room twenty two ten for a club pass to be a part of the sociology club. On November eighth, the Lend and Paw Club has a meeting in the LGI room during AL. Members should already have a pass. If you have questions, see Miss Huey in the guidance office for questions. I personally think teachers should start using really observe hall passes. I don't know if I would want to carry a cardboard cutout of Leonardo DiCaprio to the bathroom. I would. On to sports. Good morning, NHS, and welcome back to Fine Arts Friday. This week, some news that we have for you is that our high school theater department is putting on their musical, high school musical, on November 18th, 19th, and 20th. That's right, and if you want tickets, go to nhscpo.org and get them now. And we just want to take this opportunity to congratulate our marching millers mm -hmm. on making state for the first time in Noblesville history. That is huge and we are so proud of them. We're just going to take this segment of Finance Friday to put a tribute on for them and celebrate all the seniors who made this marching season great. Dan, tell us what you love to do. Uh, I love marching man because it's created friendships that will last a lifetime. I enjoy going to competitions. Uh, I like marching band because I like seeing everyone improve over the season. I like marching band because I'm a part of something bigger than myself. Uh, I love marching band because I love my section. Uh, I love marching band because it feels like family. Uh, I love marching band because I get to solo in front of a huge crowd. I love marching band because all the cool people I got to meet. Also, I did it for the blanket. I like marching band because of the people. I like marching band because of my friends and I like to compete. I like marching band because I was able to meet so many amazing people. Um, I like marching band because of the feeling you get after walking off the field. I love marching band because of the time I get to spend with all my friends. All of that. <laughs> wow, we sure are proud of all of our seniors. Yeah, we are. And again, a big congratulations to our marching millers and we just wanted to let you know that if you are a senior at Noblesville High School we would love to have you showcase your talent on Fine Arts Friday. Mm -hmm. That's all for this segment. Peace out NHS. <laughs> What do you call a boat full of polite football players? I don't know. A good sportsmanship. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm sorry, no. No, you aren't. Welcome back to Sports News Millers. The next bowling match is going to be at Bowl 32. It will be at 6 p.m. on Friday. Their competition will be at Anderson Preparatory Academy and it might start at 4. Zero conference. If you want to watch your defending champs play, plan on coming early because it will be a packed house. This, che this weekend, the cheer team will be going to state finals. This will be their eighth year competing. They will be performing at N Newcastle High School at 2 p.m. on November 6th. Tickets are sold on eventleak.com. If you do not wish to purchase your tickets online, you can purchase your tickets with cash out the door. Digital tickets will be $13 and door tickets will be $12. Good luck to the cheer team and we'll be supporting you. Let's see what's up with pro sports. 
The MLB team, the Braves, were victorious this weekend at winning the World Series. They played against the Astros, and they absolutely demolished them with a score of 7-0 in Game 6. This is the first time they have won the World Series since 1995. Back to sports meetings. There will be a boys track and field call-out meeting on November 10th on, in Coach Glove's room in 2214. There will be a mass email sent out on Canvas that can be used as a path to attend. This meeting is for anyone interested in joining, regardless if you are in a winter sport. If you are interested, plan on attending and to learn track plans this year and the upcoming season. For sports next week, the girls' freshman basketball team has a game on Thursday the 11th at Cathedral High School. On the 12th, the girls' JV and varsity basketball teams play at Hamilton Heights. Well, the show was nice while it lasted. It, it, it was nice while it lasted. Millers, don't forget to check out our website. MillerMediaNow.org or go, or go to YouTube.com slash NHS News right now. Yeah, I mean right now. Have a great day, Millers.